Can increasing productivity ever be a bad thing? Joining us for this week's Smith Business Close-Up is Roland Rust, Distinguished University Professor and David Bruce Smith Chair in Marketing. Dr. Rust, thank you for being with us. Uh, it's a pleasure. We think of productivity as a good thing in all circumstances. Not the case? Uh, it's not the case. Um, I, I can tell you about some research that uh, I did with Professor Minghui Huang from National Taiwan University. And uh, what we found is that uh, while service productivity is always a good thing in the long term, uh, in the short run, um, not necessarily. I mean, we're so used to thinking, uh, be more productive. That's got to be a good thing. And in fact, uh, sometimes it's not a good thing. You say service productivity. Is that different from, say, manufacturing productivity? Yeah, service productivity is really a lot different from manufacturing productivity. And that's one thing that uh, people don't realize all the time. In manufacturing, productivity is almost always a good thing because uh, the more productive you are, uh, the fewer defects you have, the higher quality your processes are. Everything just works together and it goes really well. Whereas in, in service, you have a lot of labor involved. And so um, the problem is to become more productive, typically you have to get rid of labor. And uh, the less labor you have, uh, you may not be able to satisfy the customer as well. So the thing that leaps to mind is, is dealing with an airline uh, reservation system or the Amtrak reservation system where they have automated. There's, there's a voice response system where you try to book your ticket, talk into the computer or potentially uh, maybe a, a lesser step talking to, to somebody offshore maybe uh, with a lousy connection and not great English skills. Um, is that, am I going in the right direction there? That's right. I mean, that, that's, uh, that's the kind of stuff that can hurt service. Of course, it doesn't always hurt service. I mean, sometimes technology gets to the point where you're actually really improving the service. Like you have uh, uh, some things you can do on the internet that you couldn't do before, and uh, those can be a win-win. It can be a win for the company, a win for the, the customers. Uh, customers are more satisfied, they can uh, do their business better, everything is better. But uh, sometimes you have these things like uh, these telephone systems where you're, you're talking um, in an unending phone menu, uh, just goes on and on, you can't talk to anybody. Um, sure, that's great for the company in terms of driving costs down, but at what expense? You know, you're going to really hurt uh, the uh, customer satisfaction. And, and damage the, the brand over the long term potential. Well, that, I guess that's it, right. You know, the customer doesn't return and you lose revenue in the long term. And so uh, that's the balance. You know, you have to balance the cost increase or the cost improvements uh, against the uh, customer satisfaction losses. I guess it, it depends a little bit what your competitors are doing in, in you know, just sticking with the airline space. If uh, one airline is, is doing a significantly better job of picking up the phone, uh, you know, they could turn that into a selling point. Oh, yeah. It, it can be a competitive advantage to serve your customers better by having less productivity. And that's exactly what our research shows. It shows, in fact, that uh, there are certain conditions under which um, it's better to be a little bit less productive. And, and some of those conditions are, for example, uh, if you uh, have a high price or a high uh, profit margin, then your customers are more valuable. You definitely want to do everything you can to satisfy them. I mean, uh, that, even um, in, in manufacturing, you see that to some degree. Because, for example, if, if you uh, want the very, very highest uh, quality, then you're going to want people to uh, make the car by hand. That's what Rolls-Royce basically does. Uh, but in, in service, uh, it's typically always uh, labor-related in some way. Now, you're always dealing with customer contact people at some point. And um, the, the more the customer's worth, the more you want to uh, use more labor and satisfy the customer better. So how does a company strike the right balance on that? Well, uh, the company needs to look at some of these things. They need to look at... Um, uh, what, what is our price point? Are we the really luxury provider? Uh, do we have a really high profit margin? Uh, they need to look at things like that. They also need to look at how many competitors they have. 
you know, if, if a company has very few competitors, for example, if it's a monopolist, then uh, where are the customers going to go? Therefore, drive your productivity as high as you can. But if you have lots of competitors, then you have to really worry a lot more about satisfying your customers because otherwise they won't come back. All right. Interesting stuff. Roland Russ joining us from the Smith School of Business. Dr. Russ, thank you for your time. Thank you.